that let's go into the time of giving to the lord i always love this time because you know this is the time where we do something that would open the heavens god says in his word that when you give it shall be given to you when you give it shall be given to you the word of god comes to us from um genesis and uh, in genesis you read about this man jacob here we see i i think there's a, a typo in the verse genesis 28 and verse 20 i'll read from a couple of verse before that here who's talking jacob i'll give you a little introduction about jacob his grandpa was a very wealthy man his name was abraham very wealthy man was the grand son of abraham but he came to a place where he had nothing a pauper nothing no money no nothing he had to take a stone for a pillow think about that no family with him but god chose to meet him in that wilderness and jacob says how awesome is this place this is none other than the house of god say house of god you know house of god is so important these days i am insisting that you be planted in the house of god all those who are watching online be planted in the house of god go to the house of god when you go to the house of god one day when the lord comes he has a mansion he will take you there but i really wonder if they don't come to the house of god right here how can they go to the house of god that he is preparing he's a, he's preparing the lord jesus is preparing a place for us now what did jacob say he says it's the house of god and this is the gate of heaven so the house of the god, house of god is the gate of heaven can you say it with me house of god house is the gate of heaven I was so blessed even as I was meditating this word this morning very early in the morning I was meditating on this word the house of god becomes a gate for his people to what to heaven and now jacob makes a vow vow is a pledge even today it's a building project sunday we all have a pledge and we are going to uh, give to the house of god what did jacob say if god he asks for six things and he's committing three things good deal huh bargaining with god he's asking for six and he says okay i'll do these three anyway i love jacob i can relate with jacob in many ways then jacob made a vow saying first one he says if god will be with me so he wants god to be with him second and keep me in this in this way that i am going he wants protection give me bread to eat food clothing to put on that is the the clothing for him to wear so that i come back to my father's house he wants journey mercies and the fifth one in peace so he wants all these six things okay he wants all these six good package he wants it from god if he puts a if a disclaimer there if and what is he pledging this stone which i have set as a pillar shall be god's house and of all that you give me i will surely give a tenth to you he's saying that this stone that he has set as a pillar he wants to set that stone as a pillar and he says that will be god's house 
out of all that you give me. Say, all that you give me. I will surely give a tenth to you. Yeah, that was his deal. He was making a deal with God. People of God, even as I was preparing this, this house give, takes the first 10% and gives it to other missionaries and full-time vocational ministers who God has called in America. And so God is saying that because of that, God will one day, you will see the multiplication. In Jacob's life, he's, he saw the flocks multiplying. But when he made that vow, he just had a stone. That's it. He didn't have even a few sheep. Where is the room to multiply? Logic doesn't apply there. When following the principles of God, our logic doesn't apply. For someone to just have a stone in his hand comes back with so much flock and so much riches. The Bible talks about Jacob's inheritance and God talks about Jacob in so many of the scriptures later. The great prophet Isaiah talks about Jacob and we just read it in Isaiah 44 and verse 21. There's a principle in the scripture and it will work for anybody that will put it to work. It will work for anyone that has the willingness and the obedience to give to God. Shall we pray together? Father, we thank you for your word, O oh Lord. I'm just a spokesperson for you. This is your word. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but not your word. God, your word talks about how Jacob made a vow. And he said that the stone will become a pillar. And he said that he will give you. Surely, Lord, he said. And Father God, we pray that you will raise Many, many Jacobs in this nation who will have a deep revelation of your word and that they will obey your word. And God, you are promising that when we serve you with our time, with our money, with all that you have given us as talents, your word promises that you will never forget us. And God, you are not unjust to forget the labor of love. And we thank you, God. We praise you. Lord, I pray for every giver and every gift. Lord, I pray for everyone that is sowing into your house, into your kingdom, God. We pray that you will bless it, you will multiply it because... You have said in your word, with blessing will I bless you. And with multiplication, you will multiply us. And therefore, multiply the flock. Multiply all that you would like to multiply. Father, we pray for great health, prosperity in all the areas of our lives, O oh God. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you because you will stand by your word and you will perform it because you are the high priest of our confession. We thank you, God. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.